So now that we have found for the special angle 45 degrees each of sin cos tan and cosecant secant cot for the angle 45 degrees. Switching on to the special angles 30 and 60, let's consider before starting with the special angle, we consider with the previous case that tan 45 was sin 45 by cos 45 and in any case if we take tan theta is opposite by adjacent then this can be divided with hypotenuse on both sides therefore O by H is sin theta and A by H is cos theta therefore tan theta is defined as sin theta by cos theta that implies if I find the sine and cos trigonometric ratios I need not find tan because tan is simply the ratio of sine and cos therefore it is very important that we find sine and cos and then indirectly the division of that gives me tan so let's see how we can find sine 30 and cos 30 and sine 60 and cos 60 which gives us the rest of the trigonometric ratios based on sine and cos so let's consider an equilateral triangle for which we are going to derive for 60 and 30. So when I consider an equilateral triangle, I assume that an equilateral triangle has all sides equal. We know that as a property. Now since all sides are equal in an equilateral triangle ABC, I simply see that for equilateral triangle, each of the angle is equal which is 60 because 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. Therefore, each of the angle will be 60. This will also be 60. Now, the other important property is that if I drop a perpendicular from A onto BC onto the D, then this is exactly equal to this or D bisects BC. And AD is the angular bisector of BAC. Now since AD is the angular bisector, each of this must be equal. That is, this whole thing being 60 divides equally into 30 and 30 degrees. Where 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 and 60 for an equilateral triangle. Now using the property that D is the midpoint, this is the angular bisector and getting the angle as 30, I split this separately into two right angle triangles through which I'm going to find each of the special angles 30 and 60 for their trigonometric ratios. Now before we do, let each side equal to A units. That is, I take each side of the equilateral triangle to be 2A and this is 2A. And this is 2a is what we get so that this gives a and this is a because d is the midpoint of bc d exactly divides bc at the half 2a implies each of them would be a now with this picture of the triangles let's consider right angle triangle abd Consider triangle ABD and see what exactly happens in ABD. Now in triangle ABD, if I wanted to find sine 60, then that is opposite by hypotenuse. And let's see what exactly is the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So in triangle ABD I clearly see that angle D is 90 therefore ABD is a right angle triangle where I can use Pythagoras theorem which says that AB square equals BD square plus AD square or AD square plus BD square. So using the Pythagoras theorem I get this where if I substitute for AB as 2A because my distance AB is 2A I can further simplify this to be 2a whole square equals ad square plus bd square. But what is bd? We have already identified bd to be a, which can be simplified to get ad as bd as a, so a square. So let's take all a terms to the right and ad square to the left. That implies I get 
a d squared equals 2 a whole squared which is 4 a squared and a squared when I br bring it to the other side becomes negative a squared which on further simplification gives me a d squared equals 4 a squared minus a squared is strictly 3 times of a squared. Therefore, I get a d squared equals 3 times of a squared where square bring brought to the right gives me the root that implies a d equals root of 3 a square. I don't take the negative because lengths or the line segments cannot be negative. Therefore, plus root of 3 a square is a root 3 units. I get a d as a root 3 units is what I get here. So here this is a times root 3 for the distance a d. Now using this let's find sine cos and tan for 60. 30 let's take for 30 degrees. So for the special angle theta equal to 30 degrees I see that in triangle a b d in triangle a b d my sine 30 if I observe here is nothing but sine 30 is opposite by hypotenuse but what is the opposite side here my opposite side of 30 in this triangle is a and my hypotenuse in this triangle is 2a so that I get the answer therefore my sine 30 which is opposite by hypotenuse is a by 2a because opposite to 30 degrees is this side and opposite to 90 degrees is this hypotenuse. Therefore, opposite by hypotenuse implies a by 2a, which in turn on cancellation gives 1 over 2. Therefore, my sine 30 is 1 over 2 is what I get for sine 30. 1 over 2 is the answer for sine 30. Similarly, let's find cos 30. So in triangle, I reconsider the triangle ABD the same triangle ABD if theta is 30 degrees assumed here then for this theta my cos 30 is clearly adjacent by hypotenuse but adjacent to 30 degrees is this side which is adjacent to that that is a root 3 and my hypotenuse here is opposite to 90 which is 2a cancelling this I get root 3 over 2 as cos 30 therefore cos 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 is how we get cos 30 connected with the trigonometric table to the trigonometric tangle now there are two ways of finding tan 30 one is by using the formula opposite by adjacent in the same triangle or by using the formula tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So let's see with the formula connected with sine cos and tan. So for triangle for theta being 30 degrees clearly we know that tan theta is sine theta by cos theta as derived in the previous session we get tan theta equals sine theta by cos theta with theta equal to 30 degrees implies tan 30 is sine 30 by cos 30 because theta is 30 degrees. So to find tan 30, we have already found sine 30, which was 1 over 2, and we have found cos 30, which was root 3 over 2. Therefore, on simplification, I get this to be 1 over root 3 is tan 30, which is obtained as the answer. So this is one of the method of obtaining the tan value from sine and cos values. If the sine and cos values are already known, I need not use the triangle and its trigonometric ratio opposite by adjacent. That is one way of doing and the alternative method if I know the sine and cos is by just connecting tan with sine and cos is how we get tan 30 equals 1 over root 3. So now that we have found sine, cos and tan for theta equal to 30 degrees, let's see what will be the respect to cosecant, secant and cot as we have already derived the formulae for the reverse trigonometric ratios. So my sine 30, cos 30, tan 30, 
which are obtained individually as 1 over 2 root 3 over 2 and 1 over root 3 clearly implies that my cosecant 30 is 2 secant 30 is 2 over root 3 and my cot 30 is root 3 is how I understand the six trigonometric ratios in their own respective manner. Same way I have to find the trigonometric ratios connected with 60 then I take this angle and I use opposite by adjacent opposite by hypotenuse for the triangle so that by using triangle ABD if I want to find sine 60 then I get this sine 60 as opposite by hypotenuse which is opposite by hypotenuse is a root 3 by 2a which is root 3 over 2 and my cos 60 can also be obtained by taking adjacent by hypotenuse which is a by 2a which is 1 over 2 is what I get when I divide Next, I take tan 60, which is sine over cos, then I get root 3 over 2 by 1 over 2, which I get as root 3, is how I get the three trigonometric ratios for theta equal to 60 from the same triangle and by the same procedure. Once I got this, then immediately my cosecant, secant and cot would be 2 over root 3 and secant 60 which is reverse of cos would be 2 by 1 which is 2 and my cot 60 which is reverse of tan is 1 over root 3 is how I obtain the 6 trigonometric ratios for theta equal to 30 degrees and theta equal to 60 degrees and finally the three special angles 30, 45 and 60 have their own trigonometric ratios with their own values.